हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज जिमी सिंह ब्रोकर ओनर ऑफ सुपर मैक्स रियलिटी सिक्स फोर सेवन नाइन सिक्स वन टू सिक्स थ्री नाइन और यू कैन रीच मी एट माय वेबसाइट ट्रिपल डब्ल्यू डॉट सुपर मैक्स रियलिटी डॉट सी ए सो फ्रेंड्स इन टूडेज वीडियो आई वुड लाइक टू डिस्कस अ क्वेश्चन आस बाई वन ऑफ माई क्लाइंट्स सो ही इज बेस्ड आउट ऑफ मिसागा एंड ही ओन्स रेंटल प्रॉपर्टी इन Malton and he owns rental property in Brampton and he's thinking of refinancing his property uh to buy another investment property and he's thinking of ways to improve a cash flow so our conversation led to you know basement renovations and you know retrofitting those ones and uh, a topic came to the discussion about a recent peel region program which is called my home second unit renovation program so what the city is doing city is basically telling all the uh, you know home owners who have basement apartments which are illegal uh, they are giving them you know loans uh, in this program basically they can give up to $20000 maximum by way of forgivable loans uh, so they can retrofit or make their uh, basement safe and provide affordable housing uh in this uh, pandemic for lot of people who are struggling uh to put food on the table and have not much money for housing and what they want to do is they want to make sure all the renovations and repairs meet the ontario building code so how does the loan works this is a forgivable loan friends and loan amount would be registered as a second mortgage against your property title for the 10 years after which uh it would be removed so how how do you qualify for this loan friends so basically you can receive 20000 loan and there are certain guidelines by the city of peel so what cities come under peel brampton mississauga and caledon so first thing is you own and live in this house with this existing non registered second unit or basement uh, with the city so you have already renting the basement but you know you never register to the city you know you are scared that maybe you're going to get a increase in property taxes or maybe city inspector is going to come rip out all the you know cabinets and everything but this is a good opportunity for you to make sure you know everything is legal and you can fetch top dollar for your investment property rental or when you sell it you can fetch top price as well so what is the criteria the other criteria is the household income has to be 110,456 dollars or less that's one of the criteria second thing is you should be renting to a tenant with a household income less than 61,642 dollars or less third thing is you have to you know uh, rent your apartment basement at a affordable rent option what that means is basically whatever is the existing city rentals for one bedroom two bedroom or three bedroom you should rent 80% less uh, 80% of that and uh, basically cmhc website has certain guidelines so what they say is what is affordable rent in the city of brampton so they said you know city of brampton for one bedroom you should be charging 960 dollars that is considered affordable rent for one uh, bedroom apartment uh, to get this grant second thing is uh, if it's a two bedroom in city of brampton 1080 dollars is consider you know uh, affordable rent if you have a three bedroom it is 1200 dollars that is considered affordable rent and for caledon uh, 960 dollars again for one bedroom 1080 for two bedroom 1200 for 3 so basically for caledon brampton the cap is kind of a same for mississauga one bedroom rent you shouldn't be asking more than 1000 dollars to access this free 20000 dollar grant Sec- uh, for two bedroom you you shouldn't be asking more than 1120 dollars and for three bedroom you shouldn't be asking more than 1280 and what is a second unit or basement apartment as per the definition the city says it is a self contained residential unit located within your house and it can either be detached townhouse or semi 
and uh, it should have your own living area kitchen and separate entrance and uh, at the end of the day all the home owners who want to apply they have to go through a mandatory landlord and human rights training by the region of PO and what you have to do is you have to get a building permit and approved architectural drawing uh, from the applicable municipality so we would, what you can do is planners are inexpensive as compared to architects so if you have a local planner, uh, planner who know what they're doing and they have uh, knowledge about city bylaws and stuff you should you know access them and uh, obviously the unit has to comply with all municipal bylaws and inspection third thing is when the city gives you loan so they have to register the second mortgage as i said so all the debts of your home shouldn't exceed mpac value of the house so if your house is million dollars they can't lend you more than what your house is worth adding that thing right and uh, the other uh, you know key point is affordable rent rate has to be for the period of 10 years as i said it has to be 80 percent of the average local market rent as per cmhc which i already told you right and uh, so also you know the property values uh, as i said for detached semi and townhouse they gave it a yardstick they said the home value has to fall within 90th percentile of the municipality so it's not like you have 1.5 million dollar house and then basically your income is high you can call them and they'll give you loan they won't give you loan so they put a cap on the house prices so for a city of brampton for detached house they put a cap at 828 thousand dollars so if that is your house worth as per mpac you will be eligible to get a loan so in brampton if you have a semi-detached they put a cap as per mpac of 500 $43,000 for a townhouse they put a cap of $520,000 to access this grant for a semi uh, as I said for Calidon the detached price is set at $966,000 for Calidon uh, the semi price is set at $534,000 and townhouse is capped at $516,000 to access this grant how many uh, people qualify i know it's a crazy market obviously you must be thinking but my house is worth way more i do understand that but look at the tax bill your tax bill mpac is always less valuation is less than the resale market and for mississauga they put a 1 million 64 thousand dollars for detached home 610 thousand for semi-detached and 605 thousand uh, as per MPAC value, uh, municipal value assessment for your house. So if you follow all these guidelines, you should be able to do that. And the other thing is, if you have more, in, you would need more information. Uh, the number to contact Peel uh, City for this grant is 905-791-7800. Extension is 8032. And uh, you can also email them if you have any questions. The email is second s-e-c-o-n-d units u-n-i-t-s program p-r-o-g-r-a-m at peelregion.ca there are online applications accepted and uh, if you want to apply for a permit application they have different languages apart from english so if you speak punjabi hindi urdu gujarati french or arabic you have application in your own language to make it easy to understand and to apply for the permit the application cost uh, is roughly 200 dollars a registration fee and then 1020 for a permit fee and obviously you need a legal survey and a set of drawings and architecture plan and obviously once everything is done construction is done you pick up phone and call for inspection and when inspection is done uh, they can you know get the registration done so friends as i said it is very very critical and obviously if you live in brampton you can go to flower city community campus which is located at 8850 mclaughlin road unit number one so they have basically build, uh, building permit applications and also if you want to do two unit registration you know feel free to walk uh, walk to the unit and they'll be able to provide all the paperwork so as i said city is saying for the second unit which is described as you know a separate contained unit which has a kitchen bathroom living space 
uh, with the existing home already, you know, which has this one. But for whatever reason, they want you to retrofit and want uh, to make sure you're following all the fire codes and electricity codes. And uh, first thing is, once construction is done, they want to see if it's already existing. If the inspector doesn't like it, they might have to get rid of some drywalls to make sure wiring is good. Uh, the fire rated doors are there. The egress or, you know, escape the window width or height should be appropriate. And there should be fire containment, you know, some kind of a door with different ratings. And Electric Safety Authority, which is called ESA, is mandatory also. They have to visit the basement apartment or second dwelling. Once the, everything is good and dandy after inspection, they will give you a certificate as well. So how do you register? The final registration, you need two things. First, occupancy permit. Second is Electric Safety Authority inspection report. And uh, if you're looking, obviously, to access this free money from the government, $20,000, you know, you should look into this program. And uh, for certain uh, clients, they are willing to give up to 30000 So the only condition for you getting free $30,000 from the city is you need to put people on the city list for affordable housing. So you have to charge them less rent as compared to uh, the market value and keep them for at least 10 years. So that way you can access $30,000 grant versus 20000 just by going to city and say you have people waiting in line i'll be more than happy to put them in my place again hope this video help guys and if you have any further question as i said contact peel region department which is 905-791-7800 extension 8032 and the email is second units program at peel region .ca. So in this video, I discuss the new program launched in October 19, 2020 for city of Brampton, Mississauga, Caledon Real Estate. And the program is called My Home Second Unit Renovation Program. It is for existing basements or units which, is not, which are not adjusted with the city. Hope you like the video. If you have any question, uh, feel free to leave a comment. I'll reply back. And if you're a new viewer of my channel, Real Estate Edge with Jimmy Singh. Uh, give it a thumbs up if it, uh, you like the video. Subscribe and I'll talk. I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. God bless you guys.